Sheila came to Vienna when it was at the high point of this really remarkable artistic and cultural renaissance really, led by avant-garde artists like Gustav Klimt and Oskar Kokoschka, but also intellectuals like Sigmund Freud. This was Freud's Vienna after all. And Sheila did something rather remarkable. He rose, in a sense, to the top of that culture during his short career depicting the human figure in a way that was just totally unprecedented, with a stark and frank honesty, uh, figures that are often very explicit in their nakedness, that seem to speak in certain ways to those Freudian ideas of sexual desire and sexual drive as being fundamental to human nature. It's hard to look at a Sheila and not be made aware of, of the bodies that we all inhabit. It's not an anatomical illustration, there's a real sort of empathy that he creates in his expression of the body. There isn't a single fashion illustrator, probably, or draftsman artist who doesn't look at his work and uh, kind of sigh, but also just look at his work and get inspired. What motivated Sheila is his love of women. He loved uh, everything about the female form, the female sort of persona, and having that kind of direct relationship through the pencil and the paper with his model. Some illustrators, like uh, Jo Brocklehurst, her work has the same honesty. It's like she strips away and gets to the core of, of who she's drawing. Her hands are very gnarly, her feet are very large, very reminiscent of, of Egon Sheila's work. When I think about how many pieces of work Sheila produced in his short, short lifetime, we're talking about 250, 240 drawings a month. I tell that to my students and I just say that's what you can do if you really love what you're doing. One of the aspects of the exhibition that I think is most interesting is how his uh, nudes develop over what is essentially just his eight-year career. So he dies very young at the age of 28. He has this remarkable breakthrough year in 1910 where out of nowhere he starts to produce figures of really extraordinary power and uh, sometimes anguish, often highly erotic and sexually charged. There is a real feeling that the 20-year-old Sheila was a kind of angry young man really sort of finding a language to express his, his sort of inner drive and, and desire and emotion. When we were planning the advertising campaign for this exhibition, that the London Underground found almost all of the works in our exhibition unacceptable in their raw form. I think his very frank depictions of the body yeah, are still confrontational. There's something about that clash of high art and, and the sort of raw naked body, and it's perhaps there that the shock lies. Mm -hmm.